If this thing flops, we could be talking dancing with the stars. Man. Dancing with the stars? That's where you're at right now. A comedian wants the public to take him seriously, but his latest historical drama looks like a bomb. And the upcoming nuptials to a reality show star have begun to take their toll on his ego. Where's my kiss? Do we have to do this on camera? Not on camera, it doesn't exist. Chris Rock uses that as the setup for Top 5, a film that tackles real issues using the comedian's iconic wit. Just, you know, say, just put a little, uh, put a little stank on it. Stank! Stank! Nice and funny. Go! What's up, We spend a day in the life with Andre Allen, a man best known for wearing a bear suit in a trilogy of lowbrow action comedies. It's heaven time! It's heaven time! The character resembles Rock in almost every way, from his background as a stand-up comic to his desire to have the public receive him as a serious artist. When a savvy reporter played by Rosario Dawson challenges him to open up about his past and analyze why he's lost his desire to make people laugh, Rock uses the opportunity to comment on a series of personal and cultural issues in a smart way. His script nicely balances the comedy with the drama. Just below the surface of his jokes lies the heart of the film. Rock and Dawson get into pithy discussions about sobriety, honesty, celebrity culture, coming to terms with your past, family, forgiveness, and race relations. Black man trying to get a cab. Look at this. <laughs> taxi, 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 yeah! Watching them portray recovering alcoholics walking through a liquor store, talking about their struggles with the bottle, is equal parts funny and humbling. Rock set out to make a rich and layered movie, and mostly succeeds. He employs Lars von Trier's cinematographer, Manuel Alberto Claro, to give the film a rich, handheld look at New York. It all feels very reminiscent of a Woody Allen film or Louis C.K.'s TV show, although those directors never come close to the raunchiness of Top 5's funniest moments. I'm the man in Houston, dog. Anything you need. Coke, weed, drink, you know, syrup. You want some of that syrup? No, no, I'm That's good. Because I'm the man in Houston, man. To talk about those scenes or any of the film's hilarious cameos in any detail would spoil their impact. Let's just say that Rock has brought in a cavalcade of top flight performers that make the most of their limited screen time. Sure, not all the jokes hit the mark. You may need to suspend your disbelief in a few scenes, and Rock makes for a better performer than actor. But he's come a long way from playing Pookie in New Jack City, and it's proven that he has more to offer filmgoers than voicing animated animals or showing up from time to time as Adam Sandler's sidekick. Top 5 shows that he's willing to take some risks, and I can't wait to see what he does next. But those are just my thoughts on Top 5. I'd love to hear yours. You can hit me up on Twitter, John underscore Airy, or leave me a comment. I'm John, at the movies.